Game Dev, Dev, Dev Journey. Hey everyone, it's Rob here from Game Dev Journey. Welcome to episode 5 of my series promoting the Godot game engine and where you can learn how to use it. Godot version 4 is nearing completion and now is a great time to start learning how to use the engine. I've found some incredible Godot gurus to share with you today, so sit back, relax and prepare to dream in code. First up, we have Joe from JMBIV. It's a really odd channel name, but I'm guessing that it's some combination of the letters from his name and surname. Joe is a professional software developer who makes indie games on the side. He loves helping others learn how to make their own games, and this passion really shines through in his videos. He makes great tutorials for the Godot game engine, as well as general game dev tips and tricks. Apart from his phenomenal tutorials, You'll also find devlogs about his own games. Joe has such a great way of explaining what he's doing and more importantly why he's doing it. I can't recommend him highly enough. Subscribe to his channel now. I'm sure that a lot of you are already familiar with Emilio. I mean, he is the creator of the Dialogic Game Dialog System plugin for Godot. That alone should cast him as somewhat of an authority on all things Godot. Emilio really embraces the spirit of free and open source, and this translates to his video as well. Emilio remembers when he first started using Godot, there were not a lot of great tutorials out there, so he decided to create some to help anyone interested in learning how to use this awesome engine. I want to say a big thank you to Emilio for doing this. You have some of the best tutorials out there and you've given back even more with your contributions to the engine itself. You are a true proponent of the pay it forward movement. Next up is Stein Codes. Stein is a programmer and a developer with a passion for making games and tools. His channel is dedicated to creating tutorials for the complex parts of the free and open source software ecosystem and breaking them down into something that is easy to learn and understand. You'll also learn about programming and designing along the way. Stein's channel is a treasure trove of great Godot content, so if you were not already aware of him, then head over there now and see what you can do if you follow a few short videos. This brings us to Daniel from Iacnus. Daniel loves to play games and make them himself. He's particularly interested in game-based learning and all the gamification stuff around it. He has a great archive of his entries into various game jams and what he learned from those as well as unusual tutorials on things like a text position helper or Godot cone collision light alarm. If you've ever wanted to do these things in your game or wondered how they could be done then head over to Daniel's channel and learn something new. Finally, we have Umai Pixel. This is a channel which I have turned to for help in the past, and it's a real shame that he has not posted a video in such a long, long time. Umai really did create some excellent tutorials for Godot, and his calm and collected manner of speaking was so appreciated by me when I watched his videos. If you want to learn about anything from arrays to life bars and dictionaries, then you need to check out Umai Pixel's channel and maybe leave a comment encouraging him to return to the scene. That's all for this week. Thanks for joining me and I hope to see you all again next time.